Uh, Fossil Hay from CFA, guys. What's up? How's it going? Ash Bigail here with another custom private adventure. We went out for about six hours today, and we have got Charlotte and Liam's finds right here on the table. And we're going to start first looking at what Liam has found. And a quick note, the vast majority of these fossils are 28 to 30 million years old, ones that are younger I will indicate whenever we get to them. And we're going to start first right up in here. We've got the marine mammal bones. So a beautiful thoracic vertebra here. So a vertebra from the rib cage of an extinct dolphin and some other marine mammal bones there. Working down here, we have the steinkerns, which are the internal molds of snails. So you've got three different ones there. Uh, including one from a carrier snail. These three are your pieces of extinct loggerhead sea turtle shell from uh, Carolina Keeleys and Ashley Keeleys. So kind of the two main genera that we had here in Charleston. Also, two of our little solitary coral stein kerns. Uh, the genus is Balanophilia. And these exclusively come from the 28 to 30 million year old Ashley Formation. Right down here, some wonderful shark vertebrae, or centra. So individual pieces of the spine. Most of yours, because they have the voids on the uh, exterior, on the dorsal and the ventral side, we can tell these come from the carcharinoform sharks. So things like your tiger reef and snaggletooth sharks. Right down here in this grouping, we've got your fish fossils. So swordfish fin ray bones, a section of a tailbone called the hypural, and then a couple of their vertebrae there as well. Moving on over into the stingray fossils, we've got a wonderful tail spine right here from a stingray. You can see some beautiful barbs on the edge of that. In fact, let's get a good close look at that. Beautiful serrated barbs there glinting in the light. Right down here, you got three of the four types of stingray teeth as well. So one shy of stingray bingo. We've got the cow nose rays, the devil rays, and the eagle rays. Time now to go into the shark teeth. And we had a lot of shark teeth found in Liam's section. So right down here, beautiful collection of the reef sharks. 35 different species of shark represented here. Things like your bull and dusky, which have the big, broad, triangular teeth like those two. And then all of the other small ones, really hard to place within the species, could be your black tip, white tip, sandbar, uh, silky, copper, spinner, all kind of ones in that grouping. Right on up here are the snaggletooth shark teeth. So you can see those curved serrated teeth from the upper jaw and the long pointy teeth are going to belong to the lower jaw. Right on next to the snaggles are two different types of extinct tiger shark. So we can find some from Physogalius contortus, which is the extinct long tooth tiger, has that more twisted crown, a little bit more conical. And then the flatter tiger shark teeth that have very coarse serrations. In fact, they're serrations on the serrations. These come from Galeocerdo aduncus. All right, long skinny ones right on over here are your sand tiger shark teeth, very similar to the species alive today. You have one little sliver of a great white shark tooth, about 11,000 to 5 million years old. A beautiful lineup here of the Mako sharks. Got beautiful coloration on this lateral tooth, as well as this amazing, amazing Mako shark tooth right here. That one's going to come from the upper jaw of Isurus oxyrhynchus. Definitely topping out at one of the larger teeth that we will see from this species. So a really good find on that one. Right on over here are your precursors to the Megalodon, the 
angustidens. So Carcharicles or Atodus for the genus and angustidens on that species, 24 to 30 million years old. And we can see that little extra tooth right there, the cusplet on the side. You also found a chunk of an actual megalodon tooth. This one, 3.6 to 15.9 million years old, probably a four to five inch tooth when it was complete. Now, Liam also got a very impressive lineup of hammerhead shark teeth right here. Uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 hammerhead shark teeth. Possibly a new record for hammerheads on our tours. Right next to them, we got four thresher shark teeth. So again, that shark with the big long whip-like tail. Three beautiful capital T-shaped lemon shark teeth right there. And then moving into the fish, got a couple of barracuda teeth as well. Much uh, shinier enamel, a thinner type of enamel on those teeth as well. And then finally, we're going to close out with kind of this top row of finds. Starting first with a fossilized or permineralized twig. It's really the only form of fossilized wood that we will get from our sites. You've also got this wonderful scroll coprolite from a shark. So you can see that little lip on the edge and then it curls on in there, just like rolling up a piece of paper or a rug. So fossilized poop from the small intestines of a dead shark. You can also see where it's shiny right there on the end, broken in a conchoidal manner, a lot like glass or obsidian. Right on over here, a section of a sea turtle or other marine reptile, like a small crocodile, uh, limb bone. So that is pretty cool. We don't see those too often. Your youngest fossil right here is from the Ice Age, a section of tooth enamel from a horse. This one dating about 100,000 years old. You can kind of see those growth lines right there glinting in the sunlight. And lastly, this really, really bizarre tooth, that one is quite interesting. So this has serrations. It's mostly root, barely any teeth. This is a pathological, so a deformed, or quite possibly, if they exist, a symphysial or a middle tooth from the megalodon lineage. So this is a tooth right in the middle of the jaw from those sharks, or it's a deformed tooth kind of in the back of the jaw. We're still waiting in the scientific literature to have an actual record of symphysial teeth within the megalodon family. So really interesting find right here. Uh, that one, probably the rarest tooth uh, from the trip. That's super cool. All right, moving on over to Charlotte's now. Let's see, we got some big marine mammal bone up here from whales, dolphins, possibly manatee with this one. It is pretty dense. Um, so a section of a rib. You've got some more marine reptile things here. So a piece of sea turtle shell and then a little uh, metapodial or a uh, little digit uh, toe bone from something like a sea turtle. That's cool. Right down here, are your fish fossils. So the rostrum or the sword from a swordfish, a fish vertebra, and then three fin ray bones from the tails of billfish and tuna. Right here, a snail steinkern uh, clam as well. So the internal mold of the shells. You've got some nice shark vertebrae here from the Carcharhiniform sharks, same grouping that Liam had, including one that still has a lot of prismatic cartilage surrounding it. So we have the vertebra there, and then all of that prismatic cartilage on the outside. Very cool find on that. Down into your stingray fossils. Again, another excellent stingray tail spine with the barbs four devil ray teeth, three eagle ray teeth, and two cow nose ray teeth. So again, just a bat ray shy of stingray bingo. Right up here are your solitary coral fossils, balanophilia. A little fossilized scallop still inside the Ashley limestone. 
and that one's a shell. These two, however, are fossilized crab remains. So a little crab claw infilled with the limestone and a section of one of the four limbs of a crab right there. Moving into your shark teeth, you have a nice grouping of the reef sharks here. Again, 35 different species. A nice pile of the snaggle tooth shark teeth, curved serrated uppers and long pointy lowers. Some good extinct tiger sharks with excellent examples of Physogalus contortus, long tooth tiger. And this one is a really good example for the extinct tiger, Galeacerdo aduncus. Right on over here, a couple of nice sand tiger shark teeth with really shiny enamel and extra accessory cusplet on the side. These are your, excuse me, not hammerhead, mako shark teeth. So long, slender, um, smooth edged crowns and beautiful tooth here from the modern great white shark. Look at those coarse serrations. This is 11,000 to 5 million years old, so quite a bit younger than everything else. Uh, nice broad tooth from the upper jaw. Right next to them, in the size award of the day, we've got this chubutensis tooth. So that one about 18 to 24 million years old, that direct ancestor of the megalodon has a little extra tooth right there. Not quite as pronounced as those from Angustodons, but that is a gorgeous tooth. Also, some other juvenile teeth here from Carcharicles Angustodons. Right on over here, you have your Barracuda teeth. Nice grouping of those. You found four thresher shark teeth right there, including this super itty bitty posterior tooth. That's awesome. And you got a decent number of hammerheads as well. Six right there. So nicely done. And then for your top row, we've got a little, it's hard to make it focus, little fish tooth right there. So that's from a drum fish in the Labor Day family, most likely. Um, or uh, something like a ras. Um, drumfish are in the cyanidae family. So it's a little pebbly-like tooth that's in the back of the throat of those fish used to grind up their food. You also got a little fossilized twig, a nice piece of coprolite or fossilized shark poop right there. There's that glassy interior in the light. And um, a little gift from me because it's not quite uh, scientifically significant enough, this one is a dolphin ear bone. It's called the periodic bone. So it, this one's missing the cochlea, which would have been the inflated part right up here. And this one comes most likely from Astadelphus, which is a genus currently only known from Europe. Uh, we have records here in South Carolina, but we are still waiting on them to get published. And uh, it looks a lot like a smaller version of today's bottlenose dolphins in terms of their ear bones. So definitely within the delphinid group. Awesome finds. And if you guys want to book a trip with us and come out and find your own fossils and keep and take all of these incredible finds home with you, we encourage you to take a look at all of that information down in the video description. You can check out our website and see what we have on the calendar. All right, that's it for this time, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Collect responsibly, and we'll see you next time.